What is up guys, so 24 hours ago I asked you to ask me questions and I got a lot of questions and for this video I'm gonna, I'm, pl I'm doing something that I'm restricting myself from answering more than one question per person because the last Q&A I answered multiple questions from the same person and multiple questions from the same people so it really didn't give a chance to, for everyone t to have their questions answered so for this video I will be restricting myself to answer only one question per person so everybody gets a chance so Let's start the Q&A, and this Q&A will be a long one. You already know how long it is. I'm not sure when I'm recording this. It will be probably half an hour to 40 minutes long. It's going to be a long, long video because I will be answering a lot of questions. So let's start the Q&A with the first question. So first up, Quirky and I Like It asks, who from the comics do you want to come onto the shows? One person per show. I'm assuming you mean the Arrowverse shows. I'm going to include Black Lightning on this So, because, like, why not? So for Arrow... Probably, I'm going to choose the characters that make the most sense. So, for Arrow, Batman. It makes sense. He's been referenced there a lot. He even named dropped once. And Green Arrow and Batman are really similar to each other. It makes a lot of sense. For The Flash, Green Lantern. Because they're friends in the comics. It'll be awesome to see. And for Supergirl, Wonder Woman. For, Leg for Legends of Tomorrow, probably Booster Gold. Because he has the whole time travel thing also. And also, he's the father of Rip Hunter. It makes a lot of sense. And for Black Lightning... What makes the most sense is Static. That would be a really cool sidekick for Black Lightning to have in Season 2 or something like that. Samuel Ling asks, What year did you start watching the Arrowverse shows? So I started watching Arrow when it was in Season 2. I remember watching the promo for one of the episodes of Season 2, so that's when um, I assume I started around there, although I, I obviously started from Season 1. But I, I was all caught up during Season 2, like... I think around episode 16 or 17. And then I watched Flash when it came out and also Legends of Tomorrow. I didn't watch Supergirl until it until season 2. I watched the first two episodes, but like I lost it just really quick and I didn't really get back into it until season 2 when Superman arrived and that's why I got back into the show. So that's when I started each show of the Arrowverse. Miles Homden asks, "When will you do a face reveal?" I'm thinking about doing it for a 10k subscriber special. I'm almost there, only need another 4,000 subscribers. And once I get there, I will probably do a face reveal, so stay tuned for that. It might come in like 4 months. I'm, I'm assuming I'll get to 10k in around 4 months. So when I get there, I will do a face reveal. Fluxy asks, I know you hate Season 4 of Arrow, but if you had to choose, what's your favorite moment from Season 4? Season 4, although it's terrible, it has a couple of great moments. Specifically, my favorite one is from episode 4, when Oliver and Quentin are having this argument. I think it was really amazingly acted by both actors. It was just a great scene all around. Will Clark asks, do you think the Just League will ever be created? And if so, who will it be on? Who will be on it? I mean, so, I don't think so, just because the Warner Brothers is so stubborn about their movies conflicting with the TV shows, or the other way around, the TV show conflicting with the movies. They have this Justice League franchise in the movies, and they probably won't allow the Arrowverse to use the words Justice League because they're scared, and this is not something that makes any sense. They're scared that the TV show will confuse people and think, hey, it's the same Justice League as the movies, which, even if it does confuse people, which it won't, who actually cares if it does? So, no, I don't think they will ever use the Justice League on the Arrowverse. If they do, they'll have their own version of it, and they won't call it Justice League. They'll call it Justice Society or something like that, because Warner Brothers won't allow them to use Justice League, just like it doesn't allow them to use Batman or Deathstroke now, because they're stubborn as hell. So, I think who will be on it? If they make their own version of Justice League called something else, it will be the main characters in the, in the Arrowverse. The Flash, Green Arrow, Supergirl... White Canary, The Atom, and all the rest of the Legends, and maybe also Black Canary and Wild Dog and Mr. Terrific, and Vibe and Killer Frost. All the main characters, all the main superheroes in the Arrowverse right now will be on this version of the Justice League, if they ever make one, maybe in the next crossover, but they will probably call it something else. Emron Ali asks, if you could create a new DC TV show, what hero would it be about? So the obvious answer is clearly Batman, although we have Gotham. It's not really a Batman TV show. It would be so awesome if we had an actual Batman TV show. So, yeah, that's a, it's a simple answer, I know, but really that's the character I want to see have a TV show the most. MercenaryX84 asks, will you be doing videos for Titans when the show starts? 
yes, I am really excited for Titans, especially with all the the photos they've released. The costumes look amazing. The production value value of this TV show looks really good. So I'm definitely excited for Titans, which is why I will definitely make trailer breakdowns and reviews and maybe even theory videos for this TV show. It's something that I am really anticipating. It's one of the most one of the most anticipated things for me in 2018. And yeah, definitely I will be making videos on Titans. Joel Goldworthy asks, "Do you collect Funko Pops and if you do, can you show them?" I wouldn't say I collect them, but I do have a couple. I have an Iron Man one, uh Assassin's Creed one of Connor from Assassin's Creed 3, a Deathstroke one from Arrow, a Batman one from Arkham Knight. And yeah, that's it. I have a bo I have a couple bobbleheads that just I don't like them cuz they're bobbleheads. The Funko Pops are pretty cool, especially Batman from Arkham Knight. That one looks pretty incredible. Sade Lantis XD asks, "Do you think Richard Dragon will kill Cade and James?" Yeah, it's possible this will happen. It seems like they might lead up to this cuz they promised that Richard Dragon will be the main villain of the season and then it turns out Cade and James is so they might do this, although I really, ho I really hope they don't want. I really hope they don't do this because I don't like it when they do that in TV shows, specifically Luke Cage. They did it in Luke Cage, and it was so bad. They had a great villain in Cottonmouth, and then they, he replaced. He was replaced by two terrible villains in Luke Cage's brother and Mariah. I don't really remember them that much. I remember Cottonmouth. He was great, but then they kill him, killed him off with some stupid twist. I really hope they don't do this on Arrow too, although. I think Richard Dragon will make for a better villain. I just don't want this stupid twist to happen. Unless if Richard Dragon will actually be a better villain than Caden James in the long run. Because right now, he doesn't really have anything going for him. While Caden James at least has some motivation. So, if they do kill him off, then I wouldn't be opposed to that. I just don't like it when they do that in TV shows in general. There are some exceptions, obviously. Especially when the guy replacing the other guy is... A better villain but I think it's a stupid plot twist that they just it shouldn't do if they do do it then I will I don't know I have mixed feelings about this because on on one hand I don't want the plot twist to happen it's a stupid plot twist but on the other hand I would prefer if Richard Dragon was the main villain over Caden James so I have mixed feelings about this question dead Pulio asks do you think the Legion of Superheroes should get their own TV show I think, sure, why not? I think it would be pretty awesome. Really, any spin-off show from the Arrowverse would be pretty awesome. I mean, you got, you got potential for Superman, Legion of Superheroes, Deathstroke, other things, Justice Society. You know, there are so many TV shows that they have the potential for in the Arrowverse. And I think Legion of Superheroes would be pretty cool to have with probably mon as the main character. They probably do that. Yeah, so yeah, sure. I wouldn't mind a Legion of Superheroes TV show spin-off from Supergirl. Brandon Taylor asks, who do you think the vigilante is on Arrow? Uh, did you not watch season 6? It was revealed already. Moving on to the next question. I have no friends asks, I can relate. Favorite movie slash TV show of all time. Favorite movie is Captain America Civil War. Favorite TV show, I'm only going to be looking at completed TV shows because I really don't know how my all my favorite current TV shows are going to end up being. Maybe they'll have more bad seasons than good. Who knows? So my favorite TV show that's completed is probably Justice League slash Justice League Unlimited. Criminal Soldier asks, what would you like to see as a crossover for next year? I would personally love to see a Civil War like in Captain America. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea, although it looks like they're gearing up to do that for Team Arrow in Season 6. So if they do that in team, in, with Team Arrow in Season 6 and then in the crossover next year, it won't really work it will feel repetitive. But if they don't do a Civil War this year in Arrow Season 6, I will be disappointed by that. But that would open up the opportunity to do a Civil War next year, which I think is a pretty good idea for all the all the superheroes. It would be like a Team Flash and Team Supergirl, because Team Flash and Team Arrow just wouldn't be fair. That's not a fair fight. Team Flash and Team Supergirl, however, is more fair. You got Green Arrow on Flash's side and then Martian Manhunter on Supergirl's side. And it, it'll be really cool to see that. So that's definitely a good idea. I think they they could also do Crisis on Infinite Earth, although that would be two crises in, in a row, which wouldn't really work. They could do anything. Right now, I think the Civil War idea is pretty good, but really they could r do whatever they want, as long as Warner Brothers allows it. They're not going to do Dark Side or something like that. 
Mick Bozovic asks, have you watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? And if you gave up on it, why did you do that? I used to watch it. I gave up on it really quick. I, I was, like, watching it here and there. I watched a little bit of season one, and I, I watched, I think, the first episode. That's it. And then I was like, nope, not interested. I watched some of season two and three, but not the most of it. I never really got hooked. Season four, I watched all the Ghost Rider episodes, or at least the ones in the beginning. But after he left for a little bit, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I just couldn't care less anymore i really don't care about the show it's not a bad show or anything i just it never hooked me or anything the only the only the only times it did is when it it had these interesting characters specifically ghost rider he was pretty cool but after he left for a little bit i just i didn't care so i just stopped watching suhan b asks well this isn't exactly a question i just included it because it looks like a lot of fun give pokemon typings for green arrow flash supergirl the adam ragman and deathstroke sure why not Green Arrow would probably be a fighting type. Flash would be an electric type. Supergirl would be a steel type because she's the girl of steel and a flying type. The Atom would be also a steel type. And that's it, probably. A steel electric. Ragman, he's magical. So, fairy. And maybe ghost because he's spooky. And Deathstroke would be a fighting type. That was a lot of fun. I don't know why you picked those six characters specifically, but... Thanks for the question, or not question, thanks for the game. Lucas Harper Kakonen asks, Who's your favorite villain from the new seasons of the Arrowverse? Right now, I'd say ranking them, Kid and James is definitely the worst. And then Mullis is probably number three because we haven't seen much of him. He's really interesting, but we haven't seen him at all, really, so he's number three. Rain and the Thinker, who do I like more? So, probably The Thinker. I think he's a great actor, although the fact that they changed his actor is pretty disconcerting. Rain was pretty cool, but I'd say number two is Rain, number one is The Thinker. For now, because this opinion might change rapidly once the season ends. Spam Singles asks, do you think Mullis will have a secret identity or it'll just be a new character? So, I had this theory going on that it was Savitar, although I'm not 100% sure about that. It's definitely possible but probably unlikely so i'd say that and i would also prefer it if he was just a new character a new god like character he's just he's been there this whole time but we've never seen him before and he doesn't have a secret identity his name is just mullis he's a time traveling god or whatever i think that would be much better than him being anybody even savitar although if it turns out to be savitar that would be pretty cool because i know you know that, that was like my theory so I would still prefer it if it was it was just a new character, though. Ruben Schall asks, which character from the, from the FCU should get his own show, in your opinion? I would love it if Spider-Man got his own TV show. That would be amazing. He has so many villains to fight, and there's no way they could fit all those villains into the movies. So it would be so awesome if he actually got a TV show. And I think that Tom Holland would actually be up for it. I mean, he's not an A-list actor or anything, he's a new actor, Spider-Man's probably like his only role, his only big role, so it'd be pretty awesome if he, he somehow got a TV show, Spider-Man is my favorite Marvel superhero, so it would be awesome if he got his own TV show. Ninja Warrior Superstars asks, who's your favorite YouTuber? Jax Films, look him up if you don't know who he is, he's hilarious, he's consistently hilarious, almost every video he uploads, I laugh every time. I binge watch his videos all the time. He's hilarious. He's definitely by far my favorite YouTuber out there. There are a lot of good YouTubers, but Jax Films takes the cake as the funniest and also just the best YouTuber ever. Arsenals asks, do you think it'll be cool if Guardian gets a spinoff show? No. No, that wouldn't be cool at all. No. No. Next question. Clifford DeVoe Dot Thinker asks, which show's coming up episode, episode 10, are you most excited for? All of them. I'm not that excited for the next episode of Arrow, just because so far, it hasn't been that great. The Flash, Supergirl, and Legends of Tomorrow, I'm excited for all three. I'd say I'm actually excited for Supergirl the most, because they're bringing in the Legion of Superheroes, finally. And, and there's also potential for, in that episode, for Marsh or Manhunter to team up with the Legion of Superheroes, it's exciting. I'd say number four, Arrow. Number three, probably the 
no, Legends of Tomorrow, number two, The Flash, and number one, Supergirl, which is pretty unprecedented that that's the order. Look, I, the attacker, asks, do you think Arrow Season 6 is disappointing so far? Like I just said, yes, it definitely is, especially riding off Season 5, which was amazing. Right from the get-go, Season 6 was disappointing because it took the amazing cliffhanger Season 5 gave us in the season finale and just threw it away. It didn't matter at all. Theo was in a coma for a little bit, which didn't really matter. Samantha died, which just felt like nothing. It was just a plot device to make Oliver the the father for William, a full-time father or whatever, it felt like we were cheated out of that amazing cliffhanger. And it didn't really get better from there, except for the Deathstroke episodes, nothing really stood out. Although, episode 2 was pretty great, nothing else was good. There were some really bad episodes, like episode 4 and 9. Just in general, this season so far has been really disappointing. Although, I'm hopeful that this season will turn around in the next... 14 episodes. Tombstoneer asks, can you just add this question in the Q&A just for fun? No, that's not gonna happen. Stop asking. Violet Abbe... I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry for butchering your name. Which Arrowverse TV show theme song is your favorite? Thinking about it, they're all pretty great. Honestly, all four of them have pretty great theme songs. Although, Arrow is probably the best. It's the most iconic theme song out of the four, for me at least. It's it's pretty it's pretty pretty easy to to hum along to the arrow theme song especially when the when when it's like that's just pretty great the dark knight 448 asks do you think that deadpool and the x-men movies will join the mcu or do you think that disney will make new movies for them so that's a pretty good question because it can be a little confusing the mc the x-men are probably going to join the mcu around 2022 or something they haven't even started planning it and they already have movies set for like 2020 already so they probably won't join the mcu for a while but do i think the 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 current continuity of x-men and deadpool will join the mcu i definitely think deadpool will just because ryan reynolds was like the perfect deadpool and it doesn't really matter if if it if it's like fourth if it if it doesn't work with continuity because deadpool break the breaks the fourth wall all the time so that doesn't really matter but the x-men i definitely think they'll recast everyone especially with with uh with wolverine being retired i think it'd be pretty cool if they don't use wolverine for a while and use the same actress for, for x-23 and give her a movie i think that would be pretty cool because we've got a, we've had enough wolverine movies for now i think it would be cool if we had an x-23 movie instead but do i think that the, the x-men the current x-men will join the mcu probably not they're probably going to recast every single one of them except for deadpool and hopefully x-23 thus in my asks do you watch any other shows that are not superhero related yeah i watch game of thrones rick and morty riverdale and whenever like a very popular netflix show comes on like black mirror or stranger things i watch that too because you know it's easy to watch at jtx 186 davis or jake davis on twitter asks how long do you think the flash will run for seasons and years big fan jake so i think the flash will probably run for longer than arrow legends tomorrow and supergirl will not combined obviously but it will last longer than those shows because it's more successful than those shows from the beginning arrow was a very successful show in season one two and three and the first half of four it was very successful but then it just it went off the rails during season four and it lost like half of its viewers and then season five and six didn't really recover from that which is why Arrow will not last till episode till season eight or nine but i think the flash has the potential to actually reach season 10 like smallville did i think it, it has the potential it probably will lead will get to season nine or ten that's that's my prediction. It will end at season season nine or ten. Finn Detzer asks, "What would you think if Roy Harper mentioned Jason Todd when he comes back into the show? They're friends in the comics. That would honestly be pretty cool if he came back to the show and and in season six, episode fifteen, and he's like, "Yeah, I met this guy named Jason. We went on some adventures together, something like that. Not that cringy or whatever, but something like that. That would be a cool reference, and it would give me the opportunity to make another Batman references video, which." Is something I always welcome. Jay Blaze asks if there was one character you w- you would want to resurrect in the Arrowverse, who would it be? Okay, so 
a year ago, I probably would have said Black Canary as in Laura Lance, but right now, it wouldn't make any sense to resurrect her. We, already, we have a Black Siren and another Black Canary, so having bringing her back to life just wouldn't make any sense. They, I guess they kind of them, dug themselves out of the hole they built, or they dug, which is pretty, pretty great. The fact that even though they killed off Black Canary, which was pretty stupid, they brought in a new one, which is pretty great. But who would I bring back in the Arrowverse that died? Honestly, probably Deadshot. He's dead, and that sucks because he was an amazing character. One of my favorite Arrow characters from the early seasons, and the fact that he was killed off... Because of the Will Smith version, it gets me pretty angry. So probably I would want Deadshot to come back to life. I might be not. I might be forgetting somebody else, but that doesn't really matter because if I really wanted them to come back to life, I would remember them. So Deadshot. Vinay Singh asks, "Do you think that the Vel will stay in Brainstorm's body for the rest of the season?" I really, really hope not because Neil Sandilands was an amazing actor. He was a pretty great. He was pretty great in the role for the nine or seven or whatever episodes he was in. So the fact that he went from Neil Sandilands to Brainstorm's actor, who doesn't look like he's going to be very great, he was very monotone and boring in the episode he was in in, in episode nine. So I'm not a, I'm not looking forward to seeing that version of the thinker. So I'm hoping that during this season he goes back to neil sandy to devoe's body although the body's dead he could just make a new android version of it that would actually be pretty cool but if the reason i think he actually will go back to that actor is because neil sandy lens is a main character on this season so there's no way he's only going to be in seven episodes or eight episodes and then leave he's a main he's he's a he's a series regular in this season so i definitely think that neil sandy lens is coming back this season in one way or another. Antonio L. Manera Lopez asks, what do you think of Elicity and Oliver's son? I think both of those things are amazing, and without them, Arrow wouldn't be what it is today. It would be just a terrible show without Elicity and Oliver's son. Oh yeah, I'm being sarcastic. I think it's pretty clear that everybody knows that I hate uh, Elicity. I don't mind Oliver's son. I think it's pretty stupid his name isn't Connor Hawk. I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand why his name is William Clayton and not Connor Hawk. But, but other than that, I think he's a pretty good actor for a kid, and he doesn't bother me that much. Elicity, on the other hand, they, yeah, that that can go. That can leave, please. J. Neal 214 asks, and I really like this question, if you could make a theatrical film based on the Arrowverse crossover, obviously, who would you choose to be the villain, and what plot would you make? I would choose Darkseid to be the... If I could choose anything... I would choose Darkseid to be the villain. I would actually make a Justice League movie. It would be titled Justice League, starring Stephen Amell, Grant Gustin, Melissa Benoist, all of these characters, and also the Superman and Black Canary and Martian Manhunter of the Arrowverse, and also introduce in this movie Batman, Wonder Woman, and Green Lantern to make the ultimate Justice League movie, because, and, and that would be by far the best Justice League movie. I mean, it's, it wouldn't be a competition. But yeah, either Darkseid as the villain, or I would do a theatrically released Crisis on Earth, on uh, Infinite Earth, Infinite Earths. Although I think they could do more on TV with that storyline because they're gonna have four hours instead of two in the theater. But it would be so awesome with a with a movie based or a movie budget to do that, or to do Infinite Earths or Darkseid. In the Arrowverse, it would be awesome. I really hope they do this. I really hope they release a movie set in the Arrowverse sometime in the future with a with a with a theatrical budget. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty awesome. And I think everybody would agree that would be awesome. And I'm just gonna say that it will probably make more money than the DCE Justice League movie, which would make Warner Brothers completely reevaluate their entire lives, which would be pretty cool. Ex Extinent Entertainment asks, who's your favorite Flash, Barry, Wally, Jay, or Bart? I'm just going to rank them real quick. Number four is Bart, number three is Jay, number two is actually Barry, and number one is Wally. Wally West is my favorite Flash because it's the he's the Flash I grew up on. During, while I was a kid watching Justice League, he was the Flash in the comics, but more importantly, he was the Flash on Justice League, and that is probably still my favorite version of the Flash. From any TV show or movie ever. The one from Justice League slash Justice League Unlimited. That was such an amazing version of Flash. So 
That's the reason Wally West is my favorite Flash, but not the one on, on the Flash right now. That's a completely different character. Jeremy Golden asks, what is your favorite superhero video game? It is definitely either Injustice 1, not 2, because the story for Injustice 1 is so much better than Injustice 2. So it's either Injustice or Batman Arkham Knight, not Knight, City or Origins. Those are the best, in my opinion. Knight was a little underwhelming. Arkham, Arkham Asylum is very claustrophobic, if that makes sense. But Injustice 1, Arkham City, and Arkham Origins are amazing. To me, Injustice 2 is pretty great too, but the story is a little weak. But everything else about it's pretty amazing. Ark, you know what? All of the Arkham games are amazing. It's just that Origins and City are even better. Marvel doesn't really have any great video games. Not any I could think of. Not any. Not any that I've played either. Only, I've only ever played DC games, and every single one of them that I played, I liked. Some of them I like more than others, though like Origins City and Injustice. Drama Llama 101, I love that name, Drama Llama, it sounds so amazing. PS4 or Xbox One, it doesn't say one, but I'm just assuming that's what you mean. I prefer the Nintendo, no I'm kidding, the Xbox, obviously. PS4 is nothing compared to the Xbox, I don't actually know, I never played on the PS4. And I own an Xbox, so I'm just gonna say Xbox. Martin Cudluck asks, do you want Godspeed to appear in the season or in another season of The Flash? Do you think he will be a villain hero or anti-hero? That's a good question. I think he should have appeared in this season. It was a missed opportunity after this, the lightning storm we had in the season 3 finale. That should have been the, the way Godspeed was born or got his powers. But another way could be that he is one of the bus metas. So I think he should appear in this season later in the season. And will he be a villain hero or anti-hero? I think it will be really, really cool if in Season 5, for a little bit, he was he's a hero. A full-on hero, but then, like in the mid-season finale or something, he goes over the edge and kills a villain. Maybe even a, a, a long-lasting villain that we've seen a lot. He kills a villain and, and he goes over the edge. And that's, this is basically what happened in the comics. He was a hero, but then he went over the edge and killed somebody, and because of that, Barry had to stop him. I think... It would be pretty cool if he was a hero for, like, a couple of episodes, like, nine episodes in Season 5, and then he turns into an anti-hero in the mid-season finale, but The Flash, he's a full-on villain, so that would be a great Season 5. Hudson asks, do you think Supergirl will get a new suit in Season 4? So, if Supergirl does get to Season 4, which it might not even get to there, but if it, if she, if it does, then definitely, I would want, I really want Supergirl to get a, to get a new costume, I don't like this costume she has now it looks so low quality and just awkward at times so it would be great if she got a new costume in season four also that would keep up the tradition of each arrowverse superhero having the same costume for season one two and three with slight modifications here and there like oliver getting the mask or barry getting the white symbol and kara hasn't really gotten any or i think she her costume got some red lines like it, but it didn't have before so that's a slight modification but in season four Oliver got a new costume completely. Barry got a new costume completely. So it would be awesome if Kara kept up the tradition of the Arrow of Superheroes and got a new costume completely. And I think she desperately needs a new costume. Jorge Hugo, or George Hugo, I'm not 100% sure, asks, What do you think will be the perfect finale for Arrow Flash, Supergirl, and Legends of Tomorrow? I know for, I'm 100% sure what I think about the Flash. I think it should end with the last season being all about Crisis on Infinite Earths. I think Flash will last longer than all the other shows, so they could totally make Green Arrow, Supergirl, White Canary, and the Atom, all those characters, supporting characters in the last season of The Flash, and that whole season centers around Crisis on Infinite Earths. In the last episode, Barry sacrifices his life to save the U the multiverse, and it ends with Wally West taking up the mantle of The Flash. I think that would be an amazing ending for The Flash TV show. Death Tiger 101 asks, and this is actually a really, really good question. What do you think the why do you think the majority of Arrowverse fans like Arrow the best when they think a lot of other seasons from other shows are better than Arrow season three, four, and six? I actually don't think m the majority of Arrowverse fans like Arrow the best. The majority of them probably like the Flash the best. It's why it has the, mo the the highest ratings and it's it's rated higher on IMDb. I I even ran a poll once and the Flash won over Arrow. I n I'm 100% sure that the Flash is the majority of is the majority of Arrowverse fans 
favorite show. Me personally and everybody else who thinks Arrow is the best show, even though season 3 and 4 are terrible and 6 is pretty bad so far, is because season 1, 2, and 5, or at least for me, are the three best season the seasons in the Arrowverse. Like, almost by far. Season 1 of The Flash is the only thing that comes close to seasons 1, 2, and 5 of Arrow. When Arrow is good, it is by far the best Arrowverse show. It's not even close. When it's not good, it's the worst. So because of Arrow season 1, 2, and 5, because of the good seasons of Arrow, it for me, it's just such an amazing show when it's good, which is why it's so weird to me how Arrow stagnates in, in quality so much because season 1 and 2 and 5 are amazing. Season 3 is fine. It's not. It's om- It's barely fine. Season 4 is terrible, and season 6 so far is disappointing at best. So it's definitely... It's weird, because when it's good, it's my favorite show. When it's not good, it's my least favorite show. It's it's really weird. Ua Ua, or at Ua Ua, 12345 on Twitter asks, Do you think Arrow can become good again? Everything is possible. Just look at season 4. It happened. Season 4 was obviously terrible. Way worse than season 6 was. And then it ended, and we got season 5. So everything is possible, like I said earlier. Although... I think the only way it can become good again is if either Oliver and Felicity split up or Felicity straight up dies, which is not something I think the CW or the writers will ever let happen, which is so um, so disconcerting. So maybe the answer to your question is no. Maybe it will never become good again, which is so, so sad. Sami Tamimi asks, do you think that the DCEU should continue as it is or get a reboot? Okay, so as much as I liked the Justice League movie, I liked it. I gave a a great review in my review, but ever since then, I I heard other people's reviews, and I I agreed with a lot of their points, so I came to the conclusion that I liked it, but it could have been so much better. So I think the DCEU needs a reboot, simply for the fact that it's not doing well. It's not making any money. Justice League basically bombed at the box office. It got terrible reviews. Most of the, save for Wonder Woman, none of the movies made... A crazy amount of money or got great reviews which is why i think it's prime for a reboot and the perfect time to reboot it is in the flashpoint movie which is which is coming on 2019 after flashpoint you can just replace every single actor because you, you i want them to replace at least the flash and at least the flash's actor ezra miller was he was okay at best he was just so weird he was not I don't know, I didn't really like him, Cyborg was okay, Aquaman was okay, it's really just Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman they, that they probably should keep, but with Flashpoint, I think they they can't just change some actors and keep others, they're, if they're going to change some actors, go all out, so with Flashpoint, I think they should completely reboot the universe, completely, and I don't think they will do it, just because they have all the other, these other movies slated for after Flashpoint, So they probably won't reboot the whole universe completely, but I think they should and start over from the beginning. This time, plan it out better. Start smaller like the MCU did instead of going straight to BVS, Suicide Squad, and Justice League. Start smaller with Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Green Lantern, and then Justice League, just like the MCU did. Derpy Muffin 1616 asks, do you think there, there will be a small crossover like in Supergirl and The Flash last year in this year? I think it's very possible because two years ago we had a small cl- cl- uh, crossover when Barry went to Earth 38. And then last, then 2017 we had Supergirl coming to Earth one. So I think they're doing this rotating thing where this year in 2018, around episode 17 or 18, Flash will go to Earth 38 and have a one episode small crossover with Supergirl. I think it's gonna happen. Honestly, nothing's been confirmed yet, but it's very possible because it's just like an annual event, just like a smaller annual event compared to the big Fortnite crossover. This is a one one episode Supergirl and the Flash crossover where it rotates between shows on either episode 17 or 18. So I think, yeah, it's very possible that we're getting a crossover. Leo Yang asks, what is the process of the creation of your videos? So it depends what video, what type of video I'm making. For a q and A, I ask a question, I ask, I put, a, I put up a video asking people to ask me questions and a couple days later, maybe even hours later, I make the Q&A answering questions. For an episode review, I watch the episode and write a script. 
maybe even on the bus to school and the bus home, write the script and then record it and then edit it and then make a thumbnail and then upload it to YouTube. For a trailer breakdown, I download the trailer, put it in the the my uh, my editor thing, and then I talk about. I don't write a script for the trailer breakdowns. I do it off the cuff. And for a video like a top ten, I write a script. Or if it doesn't even have my voice in it, I just do it. I just take clips and then put them together. I don't do that very often anymore because they get copyrighted very often, which is why I'm doing more videos with my voice in it. So usually when I make a top 10 or top 5 video, I write a script and then record it and then edit it and again make a thumbnail and upload it to YouTube. That is the process of the creation of my videos. Thanks for the question. Corey Dowling asks, do you think that Titans will cross over with the Arrowverse? As much as I really wanted to, I want Kid Flash and Arsenal and maybe some other characters to join the Titans in Season 2 or 3 or something like that. But as much as I want it to happen, it won't. It probably won't. Just because they said that Titans is not in the Arrowverse and it's not even on the CW. Unlike Black Lightning, it's not on the CW. So there's really no hope for it to cross over with, Arrow with the Arrowverse. It's the same likeliness for Gotham and Lucifer to cross over. It's not going to happen. They're on a different channel. It's not the same likeliness. I wouldn't say that because it's not on Fox. It's on the DC streaming service. And the CW is owned by Warner Brothers and Fox isn't. So it's basically, it's a lot more likely. But they said that it won't happen. In the, They said that Titans is not in the Arrowverse multiverse at all. So I doubt it'll ever happen. I really hope it will. I just really want Kid Flash and Arsenal to join the Titans. But it doesn't look like it will happen. Coffee Marojevic asks, sorry if I butchered your name, can you rank the Arrowverse years? Yeah, I definitely can. That's something I've been thinking about doing a video about for a while, but I never got around to it. So I'm not going to do it by years, like 2014, 15, 16. I'm going to do it by seasons. So like the Arrowverse Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, not Arrow Season 1, but Arrowverse. Like the first Arrowverse Season was just Arrow. The fifth Arrowverse Season was Arrow Flash, Legends of Mario, and Supergirl. So the worst Arrowverse season was season three because it had no 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 season four definitely season four not three season four had Arrow season four which was terrible Legends of Tomorrow season one which was pretty bad and Supergirl season one which was also pretty bad it had Flash season two which is great it's the one good thing out of that season but it had three bad seasons which is why it's the worst year of the Arrowverse the second worst year like I said is year three because it had Arrow Season 3 and Flash Season 1, which is pretty balanced because Arrow Season 3 bad is, is bad. Flash Season 1 is really great, but considering it is the, it, it's, it's, it's even, I guess. And then he got Season 2 of Arrowverse, which is Arrow Season 2, and then Season 1 of the Arrowverse, which is Arrow, Arrow Season 1. The best year ever since this year's Season 6 of the Arrowverse isn't over yet, the best year ever is actually season five of the Arrowverse because you had the best Arrow season in season five, you had the best Legends of Tomorrow season in season two, the best Supergirl season in season two so far for both Legend and Supergirl. And it season three of the Flash wasn't terrible. It wasn't great by any means of of the word, but it wasn't terrible, which is why I think that season five of the Arrowverse was actually the best year in Arrowverse history. Who knows, maybe season six will shape out to be even better because so far other than Arrow, it, it looks like it actually might be. The Third Wheel asks, and this is the last question, how would you feel if Felicity gets her own spin-off show? That would honestly be pretty awesome. That would be like the best possible thing to happen other than, the, other than her dying. Because that would mean she would not be on Arrow anymore. I don't have to watch her anymore. I wouldn't watch this spin-off show it, unless if it has anything to do with the Birds of Prey. I think that would be a pretty cool idea if... Felicity gets her own spin-off show involving the Birds of Prey with Huntress and Black a different one of the Black Canaries or something like that. But if she does get her spin -off, a spin-off show, that would be pretty awesome because that means she's gone from Arrow and Arrow can get back to its former glory. And that is 40 minutes. That's actually pretty insane. This is by far the longest video I've ever made. It seems like I say that for every single Q&A because every single time I make a Q&A, I try to make it a little longer than the last one, and this is 15 minutes longer than the last one, which is a, a lot. I answered a lot of questions. If your question didn't get answered, I'm sorry. I couldn't answer every single question. 
I answered a lot, but I there's no way I could answer every single one. If I did, that would take a couple hours. I just can't do that. Maybe I will in the future if I continue making my Q&As bigger and bigger every time. But then, again, my following will probably also get bigger and bigger. bigger. So I will never be able to, to answer every single question. So I'm sorry if your question didn't, question didn't get answered. It probably will in the next Q&A or in the Q&A after that. It, just continue asking questions in the, in the Q&As and I, eventually you will probably get answered. So those are, I don't even know how many questions that is answered. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this video and answer any of the any of the questions that I got asked. Just answer them in the comments down below and I would love to hear your opinions on any of these questions. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, share this video with a friend and subscribe. Thanks for watching.